if you have the problem of critical process error with the blue screen that Windows doesn't want to work and you have this again and again or simply your PC doesn't start well guys on this video I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem inside of Windows 10 or 11 it's going to be almost the same thing now if you cannot start your PC without getting that blue screen, what you need to do to process on with the video is to restart your PC around two or three times to come into the advanced settings for restarting your PC. If this doesn't come, what you have to do is every time you turn on your PC and you start to see the logo of Windows that is booting up, you want to hold and press the power button in your PC until this turns off again. Then you want to turn it on again and repeat that process two or three times, and then this screen should probably pop up. But if you are inside of Windows, let me show you how to do it. Now, there are a couple of different ways. One of them is, for example, to press the power button, select restart, and press shift at the same time after you click restart. Normally, when this is going to restart your PC, you are going to find this page. If not, you can right click into the start button and open your settings. From here on the left side, you want to click into System and scroll down until you find Recovery. Click on it. And right here, you're going to see the Advanced Startup. Restart your device to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or a USB drive. Then you want to click into Restart Now. And this is going to tell you to save your own safe work before continuing, because of course, you're going to be turning off your PC and back on. Now, for this video, I'm going to show you this into pictures because I don't have another PC to be recording it with the capture card, but it's going to be the same process. So, once you restart your PC, you're going to find this window right here that you see. Choose an option. You want to click where you see Troubleshoot. You're going to see a couple of different options and you want to select into Advanced Options. Now that we're here, the first thing that you want to try is to click right here where you see Startup Repair. Now, Windows is going to try to start to repair some files inside of the startup settings and everything that they have in there. And look if this helped. It, and now your problem is gone. If you still have the problem, you want to click where you see the command prompt. Once you are into the command prompt, I'm going to let you guys a couple of commands that you can try that are going to do a little bit of the same, but not exactly as what we did before. Now, you can type them directly from the screen or you can post the video or you can check them out in the description down below. The first one is boot rec space power slash fix mbr. Now, for me, this is going to tell me that it's not recognized because I'm inside of Windows itself, like I said before. But if you are into this advanced startup, it's going to work for you. The next one is boot rec space power slash fix boot and presenting once more here sometimes this is going to tell you access denied don't worry about it and go on with the tutorial now for this third one once more boot rec space power slash nt60 space s y s and presented once more Again, this is going to work for you guys. For me, it's not working because of where I am inside of the Windows itself. Now you want to type once more the boot rec space forward slash fix boot. And present it once more. Now we need to rebuild the startup of Windows. And to do that, you want to type boot rec space forward slash rebuild. And press enter. Now I recommend you guys that you type SFC space forward slash scan now. Press enter. Now this is going to take some time, especially depending on all the files that you have in your PC. But this is going to check that every file that you have inside of Windows for Windows itself to work is correctly, nothing is wrong with them, and is working how it's supposed to do. Now you only have to wait until this come to 100% to make one more command. A few moments later. And as you can see, even in my case, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. And now we want to check if your hard drive or SSD where you have Windows installed is working perfectly fine 
and doesn't have any bad sectors or errors within. And to do that, you want to type chkdsk space and the hard drive where you have Windows installed. Most of the case is going to be C and we want to type column. And then you want to press enter. Now, depending again in the size of your drive, this can take a really long time. Just sit down and wait for it. When that is done, now you can close the command prompt and right here into the screen, you want to choose the option of continue, exit and continue to Windows 11. Now, this should have fixed your problem of this critical process die blue screen in Windows. And I really hope, guys, this video has helped you to solve your problems. If it did, don't forget to drop a like into the video because YouTube loves that and subscribe to the channel because this will really help me out. Leave me a comment if you need any more help. Thanks for watching, my friends, and like always, see you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.